Oh, the romance of the coffee. What I fell in love with coffee was the flavor, the taste. I'm George Howell, and I'm the founder of George Howell Coffee. Every morning, I start my day with a light roasted cup of drip coffee. I fell in love with coffee when I was a consumer. Back in the 1970s, when I had moved to Berkeley, San Francisco, and just started living the life of drinking very good coffee, not realizing just how connected I was to it until I moved to Boston. <laughs> the vision to open my own cafe came a little later. In Boston at that time, the, the coffee culture was really Dunkin' Donuts, and that's it. We found what was a roaster of, quote, quality, gourmet coffee. So we called that person and he told me, there's really no difference in all these coffees, it's just the public imagination, so it's irrelevant. That led me to decide on the spot that we were going to roast our own coffee. So that was the beginning of our business. It wasn't until 13 years later that I visited my first coffee farm. I'm interested in the craftsmen who can't sleep at night if they didn't get it right, uh, who needs to produce high quality. They're driven, as I am, <laughs> in coffee. Today, they're starting to realize that if they really want to sell for a higher price, they need to be the experts themselves. In 1999, I, with one other person, created uh, thecupofexcellence.org, where we actually had an internet auction for the very best quality lots of coffee from individual farms. These coffees sold for, at first, a high percentage above the market price, and within two or three years, we're going for multiples. This gave the first ladder for upward mobility for farmers. That cup of excellence, I think, was the seed that really helped develop that. There are two things that you're looking for in coffee. It's place and the variety. Those two things can really change the flavor of a coffee. When I'm cupping coffee, I'm not looking for anything other than sweetness and clean cup. Clean cup is like a window pane. If it's a dirty window pane, you're not gonna enjoy the scenery. The bean, the seed, has to be freed completely from the fruit and dried in such a way as to not have affected it at all and that's the best it can ever do. In the roasting, we find that practically every bean we get has like a different road map to get there, to get to that flavor that's really special to that coffee. I am constantly evolving and picking up notes that I hadn't picked up before. That's the beauty of coffee, and that's why I'm still in it. When I'm in the cafe, I look to see what's going on there. I'm always trying to interact with people and see how I can be of help. It's a matter of empowering the consumer, and their tastes become more sophisticated over time. And so they evolve, just like my tastes have evolved. You know, when you climb a long, tall cliff, and you look back, you go, holy smokes. <laughs> You gotta look back up and keep going because very often pioneers always put themselves on cliffs. That's the risk too, and that's the fun of it. I continue climbing and loving every minute of it.